This video is a follow-up to my previous one about the e-paper module. In this video, I combine the e-paper module with an RFID reader. Here is the wiring and connection between the e-paper, RFID reader, and the ESP8266 as the controller. Some pins are shared between the e-paper and RFID reader. Even though the pins are shared, we can still use both devices together. This is the code I use to display the UID of an RFID card on the e-paper using partial screen updates. For detailed wiring of the e-paper and RFID reader connected to the ESP8266, please refer to the top section of the code. Here are the libraries used in this code, both for the e-paper and the RFID MFRC522. For the e-paper, I am still using the BW, black and white module because it supports partial screen updates, even though my hardware is a three-color module. For better results, it's recommended to use the black and white module only. In general, this code initializes by displaying a header with a full window update. Then, it waits to detect an RFID card. When an RFID card is scanned, the reader reads it and displays the UID on the e-paper. Since the obtained UID is in hexadecimal format, I first convert it to decimal format. After uploading the code, the e-paper will start by displaying the header using the full window update method. The e-paper will flicker several times to reset the display. This flickering happens because the e-paper module needs to clear the screen and refresh the pixels to ensure no residual images from the previous state. It is a normal behavior of e-paper technology to maintain accurate and sharp display quality. When an RFID card is scanned by the reader, the e-paper display will show the RFID's UID in decimal format. The UID, which is initially read in hexadecimal format, is converted to decimal to make it easier to read and interpret for most users. This process happens in real time, ensuring a smooth and responsive experience. In conclusion, this setup demonstrates the potential of combining RFID with e-paper for various applications. For example, with RFID, we can dynamically update the display on an e-paper used as a label for racks or stores, making it highly versatile and efficient. I'll showcase this application in my next video, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to my channel to ensure you don't miss the upcoming content. Thank you. See you in the next video.